Hi, in this tutorial I will show you how to use uh, how to change the material of a mesh. Say that you want to change the material of the, uh, the building here. To do that, we need to go to material settings and go to floor material manager or roof material manager depending on which type, which part of the building we want to change. Here in the setup you only have floor. So we go to floor material manager. We expand it. If you want to add more data table, you click on the person to add. Now go to your control browser, create a folder, create a folder level it material list. And right click in it and go to muscle notes, go to data table and search for material list and select PBG floor material list. Call it TT PBG. Floor material list. Do click to open it. Click on the plus add to add a new row and call it floor material. Now, you will see four array. The first array, the whole mesh material manager, will affect only the mesh added via the wall slot. Same for the corner mesh, pillar, and door mesh. So, if you added a mesh via a door mesh slot, only this will affect it. Click on the plus sign next to wall mesh material manager to add a new material slot. When we expand it, we will see two things. Four things. There is the, where you said you give your material name to remember yourself. Now you will see a, an, an attribute called material. That is why you set your material. To be used the material and material instance to be used and there is a material slot name this will allow you to precise which part of the mesh to be to change the material or to assign the material to do that we need to go to content browser and uh, do click to open the mesh we want to change the material go to the type panel and in the material slot we want to change the brick wall. That's where you get your slot name. That is what this one we want to change. So we'll copy it and come to our material and set it here. We can click on the plus sign to add more. And now we need to provide the mesh to be used. You go to material and we click on the plus sign to add uh, more slots and select uh, or you can just uh, select your material instance and drag and drop them here. So now we are ready to assign our material list to our PBJ prefab. Select it and set it here. Notice that nothing is changing. It is because you have to come to floor system and check uh, global overhead floor wall material. When you do that, you should see. Now you should get the material assigned. Notice that there is one are not affected. It is because you want you have to check global overhead floor door material and other one. Now we can randomize our material. Notice that the material are assigned by a block. It is because the floor wall material randomization tab is set to per block. You can set it for per building side and have it affect only building side, as you can see here, or uh, per segment so that it will affect each per segment or per mesh. And it affects mesh per mesh 
you can set it to per floor or any other type you want. Here notice that we have uh, user floor wall material for corner wall mesh for for corner and user floor wall material for pillar. Same for door. Notice that we have uh, we have only set it for wall mesh material. If you don't if you want to use the same material for all order and you don't want to assign it to other slots, you can come here and check uh, use floor wall material for floor corner and so on for pillar and door now we want to change uh, the material of the for window lights to add window light we click on plus and to add more on more slot and call it for window light and uh, for the window light we want to affect glass. Its material slot need be set to glass. And I come here, I select uh, three of them and set it here. Now, let's just move it. You can see that it assigned them here. But for the class, we want it to use non-uniform randomization. It means that it will assign different material for each mesh. So we check non-uniform randomization. And now we have it assigned. We can randomize our material. Notice that it can, you can leave them empty, so it will use the default material. You can click on the plus sign to add more material, to change the mesh material. If the mesh have, if the mesh have more slot to offer. For example, let click on the plus sign to add a new slot and we want to affect uh, this slot this concrete slot let's copy the the first uh, index and pass it to the second index and come here and set it to concrete so it will affect concrete slot now let's it set to non uniform randomization You can see that it affected them. This one gets a different material than this one. Same for here. Now, you have to. I want you to remark something. You can see that all this for attribute floor wall mat material randomization type and for the corner, pillar, and door will not affect uh, the index 1 and index 2 it will only affect the first index uh, of any attribute here so if you want to control uh, the material using this attribute the material will should be assigned to the first index here otherwise it will not affect them so there's a uh, four attribute only affect the first the first index of any of the slots as you can see here now say that if you have more than one data data table for the material for example you can have you can click on person to add them you can add a a cleaner material data table material list and i have something for a dusty or a post apocalypse type of material or leaks you can add them if you add them and you leave floor data material and this to minus one it will randomly select any floor material data table that it found here but if you set it to an any valid number like index zero 
it will select the material list that is an index 0 and if we set it to 1 it will select the index material that is that is at index 1 so because there is no matter for material list it will revert it back to the default mesh material that is all for the material